Are these the real sauces or did you get weaker ones? <laughs> <laughs> So we got the 10 hot sauces from Hot Ones. We got David and Esther. We're gonna start out with the classic hot sauce. It's the red one. So my first question was, if you could travel to a new country that you've never been to before, which one would it be? I don't know. Maybe uh, India, I guess, I don't know. That was my first reaction. But I've been reading a lot about like Eastern Europe recently. I want to go to Eastern mm. Europe. Why that? For brewery stuff. Oh yeah, nice. There's like a lot of like cool beers there that you can try. Oh yeah, that one was sweet. That was good. Okay, so the next one's called Hala Peppa. If you could travel to a country you've already been to, which one would you go back to? Um, probably, um... Mm. Germany. Why? I don't know, just I liked being there, it was cool. Probably more stuff to see, I'm sure. Yeah, it was cool. It was like Epcot, sort of. Were you? Senegal, West Africa. Hmm. Just really cool, fun. The next hot sauce is Tomasa Spicy Habanero. I'm gonna try soy sauce. So this one's specifically for you. What do you like about working at a brewery? <laughs> Mm. I went in the back of my throat. Um, I like how you can kind of create your own schedule, <clears throat> just mess around, and then you have like a product to show at the end of the day, like try this. I made it, and also there's a part of being like a woman in the industry that's really cool, and it's kind of a flex. The fourth sauce, Los Calientes Barbacoa. This question is just for David. What are the things that draw you to folk music the most? Um, it's my favorite kind of music. It's like story based, so you can kind of listen to a song and it's like reading a book kind of, like you're hearing a story that you get interested in, you follow through the song and kind of, you can imagine kind of a movie in your mind maybe or something. So the next one is Ginger Goat. What do you like most about living in Wisconsin? Um, the seasons are really nice. Um, it's uh, got great like natural beauty and good like fishing and outdoor stuff. Good music scene. All of our friends are here. I don't know. What else? I mean, my thing is the people. Yeah. Living out west on the west coast, you just like don't get the community that you have. And like moving to two different places in a short amount of time, you can like create a really strong community really quickly of like genuine cool people. And then also like the music in Wisconsin. There's just like a lot of cool culture in Wisconsin that mm -hmm. people don't know about yet, so it's like your own little thing. The next sauce is High Desert Teak Hot Masala. Teak Hot. Yeah. Mm. Such a good These flavors are so good. If you could have any job in the world and already have all the training for it, what would you be? That's a good one. That's a great question. Maybe like a um, forest ecologist or something, or like a ethnobotanist or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Sounds kind of cool. I think of all the jobs that I've done that I wasn't good at, but I wish I was better. Like, I wish I had all the training. I wish I was, like, actually making, making, making beer, mm -hmm. you know, rather than, like, learning or, like, guiding, outdoor guiding, but, like, intense. Or a pilot. I think that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one is Hotter Than L. Love burns. If you could wake up one day knowing how to speak a different language fluently, what would you speak? That's a good one. This sounds stupid uh, from you guys, but Spanish. 
<laughs> oh, it's yeah? stupid that I don't speak Spanish in the so United useful. States. It's so useful. Yeah. yeah. What is huh. happening? I don't know. I want to say like Mandarin or something because I feel like that would be useful. But I don't know how I would actually use it. So probably like French. That's just because French, so I could speak French to Esther. Oh yeah. Oh, that's cute. The next one's the bomb evolution. Oh, it was gross. I'm chewing this one up. They're really good. Mm -hmm. The five. It's in my ears. No water, no milk yet. So what's the context of this picture? <laughs> you found it. I, I think I gave Esther's birthday. We had a surprise party, and I got a book of Lisa Frank coloring book, blank pictures from uh, Dollar General or something. <clears throat> and I drew a picture of us as dogs in the coloring book. And it's just a funny, cute picture. You can like tell <clears throat> exactly who we are. If yeah. I, I Esther used to always wear that green sweater and I kind of made it look like she had one of the sweater on and he said that I'm wearing like a flannel on it, have a beard in it. He chose that dog because it had a better butt. <laughs> well, I made it have a bigger butt. I like kind of extended it. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is hot. But no, if the house was burning down, that might be one of the first things that I grabbed. The second to last one is Scorpion Disco. Are these the real sauces or did you get weaker ones? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. To the left, yeah. Mmm, -hmm. that one tastes good. It's sweet. So what's the uh, story behind this one? <laughs> <laughs> that was a New Year's Eve party at um, a graphic design shop in Eau Claire. And Beatings. And Beatings. And they host like a big New Year's Eve party every year. That one's pretty hot. That was hot. <laughs> And um, they had a photo booth with a bunch of props. They had like a photo booth where you could like grab all the props and That's yeah. cool. do funny pictures. So we did that one. Ugh. So <laughs> <laughs> we're doing this the one, last dab. As you know, it's called the last dab. You can dab it. I'm gonna dab it. You don't have to. I'm gonna. So I just did a little dab. You know, you gotta do the one. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'd say this one's about as strong as a bomb, but it doesn't actually taste bad, you know? Okay. But yeah, the so last sauce. Last sauce, cheers. I, I liked this one and this one when I licked my lips. I was trying not to do that. That was the best one. This one actually is, you would actually eat this yeah. normal and it'd oh, be yeah. good. Yeah. This one is really good. And I like the, the curry flavor in there. Okay, well, that's it. That's the end of the show. No milk, no water. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see the same. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs>